Welcome. Please join me in a spirit of contemplation. Between the heart and the mind, there is a connecting passage, not the kind that can be seen, but the kind that can be felt. For each person present here, I ask that that passage be open. There is a place in the midst of every gathering, around the people and within them, where the potential of ind individuals is joined and magnified. For this gathering, I ask that that space be filled. Many paths have brought us here. Many paths lead forward. But in this hour, we have a single aspiration, and we are grateful for the satisfaction and the camaraderie and the joy we feel. May those hallmarks of this occasion give rise to loving kindness. Amen. Please be seated. Good evening, and welcome to our 56th commencement exercise for Galen College of Nursing. On behalf of Galen College of Nursing, the Board of Directors, and our CEO, Mr. Mark Vogt, we take great pride in welcoming each of you to our winter 2022 commencement activities. We are here to recognize, acknowledge, and celebrate the magnificent achievements of each of these graduates. I would like to refer to the words we just heard in the invocation. The potential of each individual graduate here tonight is intensified and magnified as we gather to celebrate their accomplishments. It has been a difficult journey through a pandemic that was filled with many challenges. Many paths have brought us to this celebration point tonight, and there will be many paths that lead you forward on your nursing journey. As we know, every graduate has reached this moment with the loving help of family and friends who are gathered with us here tonight. I would like for all of you to stand and face your loved ones in the audience and give them a round of applause for their support. I'm sure without them, you would not be here. Another group of individuals who require recognition is the staff and faculty at Galen College of Nursing. A lot of the faculty are sitting here behind me this evening. We all benefit from the ind individual expertise, the words of wisdom, encouragement, and coaching that they all provide. Thank you all for your dedication and commitment to education. There are a few things more exciting than a commencement, and we are so proud of all of you and what you have accomplished. We're excited for your success and proud to be in your company tonight. Commencement means a new beginning. This commencement is the celebration of your new beginning. While you close one chapter, you open a new one, and so many things await you in this chapter. We are grateful to share this evening of joy with you. We are here as friends and new colleagues along your life journey because all of us should remember in mind and spirit that life is always about beginnings. So welcome. Uh, next on the agenda, Dr. Nicole Horton will introduce the student speakers for this evening. The chosen speaker for our ADN two-year program option is Crystal Lyons. The chosen speaker for our ADN Advanced Standing Program option is Amanda Morgan. And the chosen speaker for our BSN Program option is Katherine Schneider.
Welcome friends, family, and Galen faculty. My name is Chris Alliance, and it is an honor to stand here on behalf of my fellow graduate nurses. This accomplishment would not have been possible without your support, encouragement, guidance, regardless of what the Galen test did to us. Our nursing degree carries so much significance to us all, who carried us through when we could not do it alone. Thank you to our family and friends for your continued support while we were sometimes physically absent and mostly mentally distracted. Thank you to the Galen educators for teaching us how to provide knowledgeable, safe, effective care. You've empowered us to be advocates for our patients and ourselves. Absolutely. Your influence will be seen in our future practice as nurses. And lastly, I want to thank my fellow graduate nurses. You guys are amazing. You're gonna make amazing nurses. There were so many things we all expected to learn from nursing school, but the most impactful is how much we would all come to learn to lean on each other. We walked through those doors as strangers in that first week of on-ground nursing classes. Some of us recognized each other from Zoom classes and quickly found our spots and our people we continued to sit with every quarter. We made it through all the introductions, discussed our backgrounds and why we chose to pursue a career in nursing. We were all pumped, eager, had our cute nurse gear, we had hundreds of dollars worth of books and we're ready for the nursing knowledge to just pour in. Then reality hit us <laughs> with how challenging this program really was. And we saw our professor, Ms. Skultz for most of us, um, demonstrate the head to toe assessment that we were required to perform on another student while being observed and graded to pass. No pressure, but my partner almost passed out during. There were hundreds of pages of reading that was required, weekly online discussion posts, and our favorite nursing school, the care plans. We've all faced personal obstacles, many sacrifices, and the ATI exams <laughs> that required more strength than we knew that we had, but we persevered. These experiences have prepared us for our future as nurses. We will be guided by preceptor nurses during orientation and will lean on our coworkers through hard days and those did that just happen moments that we know are coming. Let's continue to develop a sense of togetherness as nurses. Let's take the lessons that we've learned from each other and transfer them to the patients we will care for. We will not always have the solution or the cure, but we will always have ourselves to offer. Through nursing, we have the power to affect and change lives. Always remember why we chose to become nurses. In the words of Maya Angelou, as a nurse, we have the opportunity to heal the heart, mind, soul, and body of our patients, their families, and ourselves. They may forget your name, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Congratulations, graduate nurses. All of the sleepless nights, stress, tears, anxiety have paid off. We made it, and let's go do great things. Thank you. Good evening, and thank you all for coming out to celebrate this major accomplishment with us. I stand before you representing an elite class of individuals, also known as the Bridge Program, made up of LPNs who are ready for a change. For those who know me and those who don't, I tend to take the scenic route through life. Early on, I became an LPN, and for several years, that's what I did. As I progressed in life, I realized I had a passion for more, but in life, you must have more than just a passion to change. You need a strategy to act. So I decided to become an RN and attend Galen. In spite of people telling me how intense and rigorous the program was, but equipped with passion and strategy, I still took that step and began my journey to becoming an RN. The first six months of nursing school were straightforward. It was all online. No real changes needed to be made other than studying and completing assignments. Oh, but when my cohorts and I entered Nurse 168 Concepts of Registered Nursing, life as we knew it changed. We were now required to be on campus for lab hours with a group of people that we weren't familiar with, early morning clinicals, daily discussion boards with cited sources, skills checkoffs, and despite the fact that many of us had not been to school for years, we passed and were off to the next course, 170 Med Surge. This came with longer clinical hours, increased lab time, dosage calculation tests, and the dreaded ATI. This course required more, but with determination, once again, we succeeded. 
Filled with confidence, and we moved on to the make or break you class, known as 265 Advanced Med Surge. So many times during this course, I felt like I was in school to become a doctor, and all I wanted to become was a registered nurse. But Galen doesn't produce just nurses. This institution of higher learning produces individuals who can recognize cardiac tamponade, the severity of tracheal deviation, individuals who will offer a listening ear for someone who just received a terminal diagnosis. This was done not just by knowing how to recognize these unusual medical events or memorizing lab values, but by training us on interventions to implement, the expected outcomes of those interventions or possible complications our patients may experience. Shout out to Dr. Slusher. Moving on to our final term, 283 and 282, transition to registered nursing and leadership. We were exhausted, running low on passion, but we had abundance of knowledge that we've learned. We expected this term to be a breeze because we had gotten through the storm. But in true Galen fashion, we were expected not just to pass, but to be the best. Here we are now facing three comprehensive exams, an ATI with an increased score requirement and tons of remediation. Daily discussion boards, multiple 10 page plus care plans, journals, SBAR, lab, 180 hours of clinicals, community projects, HCA calls, and several PowerPoints. It was real, y'all. <laughs> Each week was daunting, knowing all that was required. But with many prayers before exams, weekend study sessions, midnight texts to not give up because the finish line was near, we made it. I like to think of myself as someone special who surpassed all my trials and tribulations. But this group of phenomenal individuals showed me that I was not alone, that there is strength and solace in numbers. So in honor of Adrian, Cynthia, Heather, Kim, Lori, Maggie, Marniqua, Stacy, Tierra, I can proudly say that we have accomplished what we have set out to do. Last but definitely not least, I'd like to thank our family and friends who have for the past 18 months had to take a back seat in our life so that we can achieve our goals. Your patience, prayers, and support was very much needed and appreciated. Good evening, everyone. My name is Catherine, but those who are in class with me got to know me as Kat. Um, before I get started, there's a few thank yous and acknowledgments I'd like to get out of the way. Um, I know that I speak for almost every graduate here when I say that this has been a long and difficult road and that we could not have made it through on our own. I know that things have been difficult with turnover, staffing shortages, and the challenge of distance learning, but there are a few current and former staff members that we in the BSN program want to acknowledge. First, we have Tracy Brennan. You were one of the first instructors we had that truly inspired us. <clears throat> Not only are you a pillar of knowledge in your area of practice, you were a fantastic role model for us and you believed in us. Sorry. <laughs> you told us that you could see the passion for our patients in each and every one of us and you have no idea how much it meant to us as struggling students to hear that someone thought that we were doing right. Next, we have Jennifer Gubser. <laughs> um, aside from the fact that I owe three quarters of what I know to you, you were a godsend. You were the epitome of a role model to us and someone that I aspire to be like as a nurse. You taught us in a way that made sense, and you never shied away from our questions or hypotheticals. You believed in us when we didn't believe in ourselves, and your words will stick with us forever. You've got this. You are prepared. You are smarter than you think you are. You know more than you think you know, and I believe in you, even if you don't believe in yourself. Finally, there's no way that I could walk off of this stage tonight without thanking Holly Ann Higdon. <laughs> you came in like Wonder Woman and saved us from our med surge experience. <laughs> and we will be forever grateful for that. <laughs> you helped us through the beast that is Patho 2 
and you went above and beyond for us as a clinical instructor. You met us where we were and sought out opportunities for us to learn and better ourselves. You pushed us out of our comfort zones, and because of that, we all grew leaps and bounds. I speak for all of us when I say that we appreciate everything that you've done for us, and I can say for certain that I would not be standing up here today if it weren't for you. Next, I have a few, a few personal thank yous. My in-laws, John, Anita, and Lisa, I cannot put into words how thankful I am for you guys. Randy Lynn, thank you for teaching me how to take a manual blood pressure. <laughs> My sister, Christine, my dad, Eric, and my son, Lane, who is my reason for wanting to better myself. My wonderful husband, Kirk, who supported me through everything. And finally, my mom. You've always been my strongest role model throughout my life. You have drive and resolve that has always been an inspiration to me, and you make me proud to be your daughter every day. Three years ago, it was January 2019, and I started the BSN program with a handful of others who were excited to learn how to be nurses and to become adaptable, flexible, to think critically and learn how to rely on each other. Little did we know that in about six weeks' time, everything was going to change. In March of 2019, COVID came in with a vengeance, and before we even realized what hit us, we realized that we had to learn how to be adaptable, flexible, rely on each other when we had barely even gotten started. Nonetheless, we persevered. We studied together, we struggled together, and we formed friendships that overcame everything that was thrown at us, and it was a lot. Now that you've all made it out on the other side, I would like to give you a few challenges again, but I promise this time there's no exams and no care plans to worry about. For your first challenge, I want you all to think back to the day that you began here and remember your why. Keep it in your pocket and remember it every time things get tough and you want to quit. You started this journey for a reason. You battled all of the odds, a lifetime worth of unprecedented times, and came out on the other side. And no one can ever take away your knowledge and experience. Let that be what keeps you going. Next, I challenge you to never stop learning. In the words of the very scary but very wise 30-year veteran nurse that oriented me, the day that you stop learning something new is the day that it's time to retire. The last challenge I will leave you with is to always strive to be the nurse that you wanted to be when you started out. I will leave you with these parting words, words that I will always carry with me and that will serve you well in practice and in life. You've got this. You're prepared. You're smarter than you think you are. You know more than you think you know. And I believe in you, even if you don't believe in yourself. Congratulations, graduates, and thank you, everyone. You don't have to. You can stay. All right. Good evening. The Leadership and Nursing Award honors nationally recognized Dr. Tracy Ortelli a leader in nursing education, role model, mentor, and scholar who has dedicated her professional career to advance the development and assessment of nursing curricula and the certification and recognition of nurse educators. Dr. Tracy Ortelli was instrumental in the initial development of the pre-licensure baccalaureate program for Galen College of Nursing. The Leadership in Nursing Award was created to recognize BSN students who demonstrate outstanding leadership qualities in inspiring others, exemplifying, exemplifying personal integrity, serving as a role model and advocate in upholding Galen College of Nursing's eye care principles of inclusivity, character, accountability, respect, and excellence. The Dr. Tracy Ortelli Leadership Award for our BSN program goes to Ms. Laura Martin.
The Catherine Mershon Emerging Leader Award. Leadership refers to the ability of an individual to influence the behavior of others, often inspiring their peers to function at a higher level. The Catherine Marchand Emerging Leader Award will be presented to graduating students from each program option who exemplify the following traits. The ability to solve problems, critical thinking, respect for individual differences, active listening, skillful communication, clear goals and outcomes, and integrity. The Catherine Marchand Emerging Leader Award for our two-year ADN program goes to Megan Taylor. The Catherine Marchand Emerging Leader Award for our ADN Advanced Standing Program goes to Marniqua Spencer. At Galen College of Nursing, we know there are certain intangible qualities that some nurses instinctively develop that truly set them apart from the rest. These qualities cannot be measured with an answer key or calculator like a test score or grade point average. These qualities are more about human kindness, the human touch. More than a room number and a diagnosis, it's about making a patient feel singularly special. The qualities associated with the human touch include compassion and an understanding and acknowledgement of the feelings of patients, family, and fellow students. The Dr. Marjorie Perrin Human Touch Award winners are nominated by their fellow classmates. The Dr. Marjorie Perrin Human Touch Award for our two-year ADN program goes to Danielle Wirtz. The Dr. Marjorie Perrin Human Touch Award for our ADN Advanced Standing Program goes to both Courtney Davis and Amanda Morgan. Okay, time has come to award the diplomas. Our first group of graduates are receiving their Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree.
First graduate is Mary Asher. Nicholas Cud. <laughs> Stephanie Finley. Ravine Givens. Sarah Hatfield. Laura Martin. <laughs> Catherine Schneider. Nadia Basalaka. <laughs> Taylor Vickery. Mariah Williams. <laughs> Our next group of graduates received their Associate of Science in Nursing degree. Taylor Altomer. Nicole Bennett. <laughs> Shabika Bandari.
Cynthia Brooks. Courtney Brooks. Or, I'm sorry. Courtney Davis. <laughs> My glasses did that. <laughs> Kaylee Denson. Lauren Goins. Lori Heil. Heather Lynch. <laughs> Crystal Lyons. Kimberly Mitchell. <laughs> Amanda Morgan. Patricia Mujica Gutierrez. <laughs> Haley Penny. Brandy Sawyer. <laughs> Marniqua Spencer.
Stacy Tanner. This is a wild crowd tonight. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Nikki Taylor. Tiara West. <laughs> Cheyenne Whaley. Danielle Wirtz. Knocked her hat off, my goodness. <laughs> now, I know you all are just dying to give these graduates a round of applause, so let them have it. No wonder you all graduated, you had enough support. My gosh, great. She's already open. Hello, welcome, congratulations. And now we're gonna have the ceremony of the lights. We have a tradition in nursing education. It is called the Ceremony of, the, of Lights. Through the Ceremony of Lights, the passing of one flame to another signifies the passing of knowledge and the acceptance of the responsibilities and the rights and the obligations of the nursing profession. So we offer our pledge in this ceremony. Graduates, would you please rise, face the audience, Light your candles and then join me and the faculty in reciting the nursing pledge. All right. I solemnly pledge myself in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession with integrity. I will endeavor to maintain and elevate nursing standards, both as a science and art. I wholeheartedly recognize the importance of quality standards of care and of personal accountability. I will devote myself to the protection, healing, and welfare of those committed to my care. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and will respect the privacy of medical information. 
I accept a duty to work for the improvement of health in the communities in which I live and work. I will act with compassion in ethical matters. I will not take or knowingly administer any harmful substance. I commit to interdisciplinary collaboration and lifelong learning. I fully acknowledge seriousness of responsibility integral to the nursing profession and the significance of my commitments I pledge today. And now the benediction. Hear now these words of benediction. Our moment together in this place is at its end. For every heart and for every mind, may some word or gesture linger from this time to other times and give peace and courage and the will to do good. Amen. Okay, you can turn out your lights. On behalf of the faculty and administrators, I congratulate all of you on this milestone in your life. We all wish you the very best in your future endeavors and your nursing career. And now, on behalf of the Board of Directors of Galen College of Nursing, Mr. Mark Folk, CEO of Galen, and all of our academic administration, I proclaim you as graduates of Galen College of Nursing. You may move your tassels to the other side of your hats. Parents, spouses, families, friends, faculty, staff, everybody in this audience, you have been a great joy to have here tonight. Um, I present to all of you the January 2023 graduating class of Galen College of Nursing. Congratulations, graduates, and now you can go celebrate. <laughs>